camera. Just ignore it. Keep talking. <laughs> okay. And she made currant jam out of them and gave me a couple of bottles of it. Actually, last year she gave me like five bottles, and that was enough to last me all winter, <laughs> and I still have a couple left, so. Okay. I told her not to give me so much this year. I remember the, I think there are birch trees that yeah, used to be those, right there. Stumps there. Okay, that's part of them? Yeah, that's what's left of them. Okay. And then I've been cutting down these big spruce trees. Yeah, I noticed this was cleared out a bit, yeah. And there's still a couple of, a couple of them left laying there, and that guy has been coming all summer to take them away. I already paid for it to have them taken away, and they're still laying there. Yeah. So I'm getting kind of ticked off at them about that. Yeah, I remember this was much fuller. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, there, uh, remember there was a big huge tree right here at the yeah, corner yep. and the branches were out touching the porch. Yeah. So that was the first one to go. And then it just seemed like a good idea to clear some more of them out. They're getting so tall. The ones that were left around it, one was starting to fall over already. See that there you can see a trunk there bent. I remember the uh the wooden uh swing that would be there. Yeah, what the heck ever happened to that? I'm sure it just rotted and fell apart and well, got, got taken moved. away. They got moved somewhere. Yeah. I wonder if we just pulled it out. Yeah, I'm, it rotted away, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. I remember there used to be a trailer there. I think it was probably for the snow machines. There used to be a trailer here. I used to play on it as a kid. I used to rock it back and forth. And I'm pretty sure it was for the uh, the snow machines maybe. Or I'm sure it was multi-purpose for something else. Well, that was gone before I moved in. Yeah. I, they, I don't even remember that. When I moved in, the snow machines were in the lean-to. Yeah. And I promptly <clears> and I sold those for $800 a piece. Okay, that's actually good, yeah. <laughs> I got a good price for them. Yeah, those yeah. are old classics. I mean, those were... Uh, right. They were... Uh, well, one they bought for parts. Okay. And they were just delighted to get it because... Uh, and actually, I think what they did then was they used their own for parts <laughs> and and uh, ran the one they bought here. Yeah, old... Uh, sold both of them to the same people. Old Skidoos, the Alani and the Olympic. 1970 Skidoos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've never gone for a snowmobile ride. Huh. I remember seeing them. I just... Yeah. It's very vague. We don't need that spider web. Yeah, I remember trying to get them started. I think I did ride them for a little while, or at least the the smaller one, the Alan, the 250. But, uh, yeah, I had no interest in them. And they were taking up space. Yeah. I remember walking back straight back that way to the railroad tracks. It yeah. was much clearer than it was <laughs> now. Yeah, I think the Larry next door is keeping a trail open. Yeah on his side of the property and once you get through this bunch uh, get over to, to the next little hill it's a little <coughs> clear that was uh, it's starting to grow up now though and I suppose pretty soon it'll be all like this yeah it's getting to be an effort I have a guy come in with a big mower and mow this back down every year yeah and I guess I'll have to get after him yeah I remember it was nice lawn at one time and uh Great Grandpa Geist had me go out there with a uh, what do you call them a scythe, oh. sickle, yeah, scythe, scythe, and I would go out there and try to chop down some of the tall stuff. <laughs> My buddy Dar did that last year. Oh boy! And she she said never again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a workout. <laughs> yeah, and I, I've got to get after my guy. Mommy does had a. Something like that, but it was shaped more like a golf club. Yeah. It had like a flat blade on it, so you could like swing it like a golf club. Yeah, this was like a full on two handed. Two handed. And I remember the wagon in the garden shed over there. Or not in the garden shed, but the other shed. Oh. I remember the old uh, green yeah. dually wagon. I think that's still up in the rafters. Yeah, yeah, it's up in the rafters. Okay. What's the significance of that concrete post out there? That's some sort of a county landmarker. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's been there as long as I can remember. Is there anything on it? It says RW on it. Remember I used to stand on it and, you know, when I was a kid.
Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a kid, I was always looking for something to do. I don't think there's an inch of this place I haven't explored. I used to walk back across the road over there, and I found those old uh, old cars back there, and the valley's all shot full of holes. Oh, no kidding. Probably cars from the 20s or 30s. Oh, darn. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, you got to stand them up, you know. They break off tough. I just broken off an engagement, so oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't have a boyfriend or any, well not just, but some time ago, and uh, so after my regular job, I took on a part-time job cashiering at this restaurant, the Strakota, Strakota Inn in Milwaukee up on Capitol Drive, and he and his buddy had come in, and I was friends with one of the waitresses there, and she said, um, Oh, she pointed those two guys sitting in the booth. Apparently, she was going out with one of with uh, had gone out with one of them at one time, and she thought they came in, you know, to make another date. And <laughs> he, um, she um, said, "You want to go out with one of, with that with that guy?" And I thought she was pointing to John, and I said, "Sure." <laughs> <laughs> and when. Uh, when she went back and said, "Well, she'll go. She'll go out with you." And John said, Sh "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> so she was really ticked off at him, and she wouldn't go out with him. Oh no! Well, she wouldn't double date. She yeah. would go out with his buddy then. Oh. So anyway, that's how I met him. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we went out every night for a month after that. Huh. Oh, wow. And finally, I had to get some. I was working, you know as a secretary for this guy, and uh, I finally had to get a, we'd stay out and go to the bars. They didn't close until 2 o'clock in the Oh morning. boy, yeah. So I wasn't getting to bed until 2.30, 3 o'clock. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm going, getting up and going to work. So we finally had to take a break. <laughs> I can't remember how long we went together before we got married. Must have been at least a year. I guess they're having fun too. Oh, good. <laughs> they're always running around. It's raining. Oh. It's going to rain all weekend, all through the weekend. They're kind of wet and messy and chilly, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so they thought. Yeah, we rarely get snow there, just a little dusting every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a couple of really good friends that lived in uh, Renton. Okay, yeah, Renton, yeah. Yeah, Renton's a little south of where we are. Yeah. And uh, when we went to Tahiti, we stopped off and visited with them for three oh, or four days. okay. And she uh, gave us a Dungeness crab dinner. Oh. <laughs> that was great. I'll never forget that. It was just great. Do you remember the time of year you went? Um... In February. Okay. Went in February. It must have been toward the end of the
doesn't work like they tell me it like it's like they tell you in the catalog. <laughs> it is still a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it just takes a little bit of practice and it's all apart here. Yeah, I gotta get more level to it as well. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much still gonna have it here. You see them now?